Collective Drift. I'm your host, Erica Verne Knowles. This platform was created to celebrate all women, the beauty of their cultures and international travel experiences. Welcome to Collective Drift. These animals in their natural habitat, it was just like extraordinary. Seeing the elephants kind of fighting each other and we had some wilder beasts following our jeep. Right? Like they wanted to ram the Jeep, seeing the hippopotamus in their element. It just was amazing. It was amazing. We, a couple of times we got to get off the Jeep and we were like in the middle of zebras racing, right? But they went past us. I mean, it just was out of this world extraordinary. And I really hope that one day I get to go back. This is. We went to Antigua mm -hmm. and it was so beautiful and definitely saw the similarities of Peru and Guatemala as far as the clothing, and the colors, right? but also the differences. So much culture in that little town. Right. I mean, everything looks from the 1800s. Nothing mm -hmm. has moved and it's so beautiful to see. Like you're stepping into this magical mm -hmm. place wow. as soon as you arrive. It's amazing. Like I contemplated moving there. So you learned a little heel flick. Oh my gosh, I know all of that. It's so crazy because I, I think there's times like my one of my birthdays, my one of my best guy friends, he's Haitian. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna take you to a bottle. And I was just like, yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. He's like, carry me, he's performing. I'm like, yes, this is before they broke up. And I was just like, yes. And he's just like, dude, you're like an honorary Haitian because you get more excited mm -hmm. than like my Haitian cousins, my little right, other cousins. Right. I'm like, but I love it because it's familiar and it's mm -hmm. part of my coming of age time. Right. So I, I just love all of that. I just... You know, how, how do you think um, African-American or Black women from the African diaspora mm -hmm. have influenced art today? Um, I mean, I think it's a it's huge influence, but it we're definitely underrepresented. You know, mm -hmm. if you look at most popular artists, you know, are, are, are the African-American generation, you don't see a lot of African-American women. There are there are a lot, you know what I mean? But I feel like the men, like a lot of industries, mm -hmm. still kind of dominate that. Absolutely. But our stories are as rich, richer, you know, and it's even more of a, of a different place. You know, they're talking about being a sister or being a wife or being a mother right. or dealing with society and how you're viewed and, and men and how they're looking at you. So I think some of that vocabulary comes out in the work. But then also being an abstract artist, like you can look at like Nanette Carter, you know, she's not painting figurative people, but she's she's collaging like materials and and weaving um, tech, not textures, but creating textures like on the, the, the mylar. But she's still telling a story about her. I was engaged in Africa, so I need some space to, to be free in my head and with my body. So I started yoga and I started kite surfing. And when I'm on the sea, I don't think anything. So I'm totally empty in my head and I just enjoy So is it being... like a meditation? Yes, it is. It is. But the only because the only thing you are concentrated is uh, the wind and your technique to move on and not to collapse <laughs> because it's really it's a risky it's a risky sport <laughs> when did you start kite surfing also seven years ago so my daughter um, when i told her i start kite surfing she said oh mom you are too old it's a risk sport so yeah. you can't do it i said oh i can do it mm -hmm. and then now i'm i'm not professional but I can't stand it. Well, I am an African-American woman who's been in the hospitality industry for the last 15 years. I've, too, traveled all over the world and experienced lots of different cultures. So I think what you're doing is absolutely wonderful. Definitely needs to be celebrated. Thank you. Being in the hospitality industry, how have your international travels impacted what you've done in the hospitality industry? Well, the Sojourn brand is focused on African-American history and culture, celebrates heritage tourism, really. So I think traveling a lot lets you understand that you do have to tell your own stories. Uh, I think I've, I've learned from her to be, um, to be independent and free. I think that was maybe the main force that she, she, uh, she taught me. Um, to also always follow my heart. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that meant. So what does that mean? Um, 
it literally means to follow your heart. But when I, <laughs> when I was when I was young or a student, I I felt both of my parents were way too too free, too cool with me. I wanted stricter parents. <laughs> me too. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and they trusted in me and they always said whatever choices you make, um, follow your heart and it's going to be the right decision. And I didn't understand really. I said no, but I should do this and that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I mean I should follow yeah, yeah, and structure for career and, right. and I think by following your heart it means to uh, trust your passions, right. trust what you like and love, and mm -hmm. what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And once you have found this and you trust yourself, you're able to go that direction. And this, this is very fulfilling, and this eventually makes.